My dear lovely students, let's analyze the previous year toppers maths answer sheet. So in this video, I'll be giving you three very important tips and tricks. By applying that, you can also make your answer sheet very impactful, attractive, and very systematic. So starting from section number A. Point number one, you can see here the student has clearly written the correct options only, correct options along with the options in words. Okay, and yes, very important thing is to be noticed here. There is no any rough work anywhere. Either the student has written using pencil or erased it, or must have been written at the last page. Doesn't matter. But the first page should be very clear, attractive, and very beautiful because the first impression leaves the positive impression on answer sheet examiner's mind. So make sure no need to do any rough work, right? Okay. So now come to the section number B, C, and D. If you look at the section number B, C, and D, point number two. You can see here in every problem because you know B, C, D section contain subjective type question, which is word problem. So in every problem, the student has written first to given. Then to find, then the solution is being proceeding, right? So this is the hierarchical way. This is the systematic way. By using that, you can uh, you can uh, proceed the solution. Okay. One thing is very important that impresses most here. Whenever some important words are appearing, the student has uh, shown those words underlining it. And wherever some important conclusion is coming, that every conclusion is being boxed. So this is the way you can make your answer sheet, you know, effective. Okay. Now. If you look here, one thing you can observe here: whenever some diagram is needed, the diagram is also being made by the student. So, whenever the diagram is required in any problem, in any question in maths, you should draw the diagram because diagram also leaves the positive impression. And okay, now section number D, point number three, same procedure starting in section number D. But the one thing very impressing and the thing which impresses the most is the overall neatness of the graph. You can see here the graph. The graph is very neat and clean. Every marking, every scale, and every coordinates are perfectly visible. So look at the overall neatness of the graph. So this is the way. These are the points, tips, and tricks you should also apply in your answer sheet to make your answer sheet very impactful. And my dear lovely kids, please avoid to do excessive rough work. Please avoid it. Please avoid excessive rough work. No need to do so much of rough work. If you want to do any rough work, please try to do at the separate page, at the last page. So this is these are the tips and tricks you should apply in your answer sheet to make your answer sheet very impactful. Thank you so much for watching.